and to hold a lot of water weight that anymore mm -hmm. we do not do that anymore because it's better to look to think you look fat than to look sick anyone out there who feels any sort of shame for exactly what they're going I immediately start crying because it hurts yeah. like everything honestly i don't care about my weight because people be about it anyway you have to understand that i dealt with a lot of body shaming this year and i've huh. never experienced that before i don't care about that stuff but i did start gaining weight man that that hurt Recently, there has been a lot of talk going on about Selena Gomez. After her appearance at the Golden Globe Award on January 10th of 2023, where she wore a sparkling outfit, precisely a velvet Valentina gown, haters once again started to write negative comments on social media and body shame the pop star. However, this insult seemed not to hurt Selena's feelings, as that night she was nominated for the Best Actress in a Comedy or Musical Series, and she was in high spirits, obviously. Later that night, after the Golden Globe Award, Selena posted some pictures on Instagram where she, her friend and her 9-year-old sister were having a good time in a restaurant. The post was captioned, we cute. Though the majority of the people reacted positively, trollers and haters had their word in the comments, the insults took the form of big face emojis, and suggestions that Gomez got, um, bigger. Of course, Selena saw the public's reaction to her post, including the negative ones, and she did not hesitate to respond to haters the same night on her Instagram live video post. I'm a little bit big right now because I enjoyed myself during the holidays. I mean, right? <laughs> and we all know how and where Selena Gomez spent her holiday from the pop-based tweet which captioned Selena Gomez looks gorgeous as she posed for paparazzi in Cabo. Unfortunately, haters did not agree with that caption and wrote some bitter comments like Oh, she's huge! Or she needs to hit the gym instead of being obsessed over pretty models. And Selena did not stay quiet about it as well and responded to haters. Under a TikTok post of Mara Angelis, where she was advocating Selena's look, Gomez wrote a comment, I love you girl, but I got it, I love my body. Actually, it is not the first time when Selena had to fight body shaming. In April of 2022, her viral TikTok video made it crystal clear what she thinks about body shamers. But honestly, I don't care about my weight because people bitch about it anyway. You're too small, you're too big, that doesn't fit, me, 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 me. Bitch, I am perfect the way I am. You know guys, Selena probably knows more than anyone what it's like to be body shamed, judged, and most importantly, how to overcome that pressure. In her recent post with Glamour, she shared her feelings about it. Being in the public eye from such an early age certainly comes with a lot of pressure. It's hard to feel comfortable when you feel like everyone is watching, judging, and commenting on the way you look. Self-confidence is still something I work on daily, but when I stopped trying to confront society's unrealistic standards of beauty, my perspectives entirely shifted. Yes, self-confidence was a very big problem for Selena, especially after her breakup with Justin. And her haters' activity on social media made it even more complicated for her to accept herself the way she is. Recently, she commented on a viral TikTok video with a sad emoji, kind of confirming the message it sends. In that video, the author shows pictures of Selena while she was in a relationship with Justin. And she was so skinny, just like a skeleton. And the caption said, the reason why Selena is always skinny when she dates Justin. The author of this video also attached Selena's old response to a comment where she says, no love, he's rather models, I'm just too normal. So looks like Selena was pressured and body shamed not only by haters but also by her boyfriend. Well, I don't understand why people have to point it out whenever she seems to gain a few pounds. Especially considering her kidney surgery and of course it strongly affects her health plus her bipolar disorder. If you didn't see that video about Selena Gomez and Francia Reyes' friendship drama after she became her kidney donor, I'll leave it somewhere here. Losing something, we don't, we, our body didn't need to lose. And there was like no question, it's like, I'm going to get tested, you're my sister. It is so awful that people are still focusing on Selena's body even after all her attempts to stop it. Luckily, she is not alone in this fight, and recently her friend Taylor Swift spoke on that issue as well. And I was like, nope, we don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. We do not do that anymore because it's better to look to think you look fat than to look sick. And we don't do that anymore. 
and you just we're just we're changing the channel in our brain and we're not not doing that anymore that didn't end us up in a good place